Hi, I'm Kelly Ronsi for Pottery Barn Kids. What could be more adorable than a baby's first birthday inspired by Eric Carle's delightful children's book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar? And what more appropriate party favor to create than these charming fruit bibs inspired by the caterpillar-eaten fruit depicted in the book? They're super easy to make and require no sewing skills. To make one, you'll need about a half yard of white fabric, a half yard of polka dot fabric, fabric scissors, pinking shears, an iron, some iron-on adhesive, iron-on fastener tape, and this great iron-on vinyl coating. To prepare, adjust your iron to a high setting, make sure the steam is off. Start off with a piece of polka dot fabric and a piece of iron-on adhesive, both measuring 11 by 14 inches. Fuse the adhesive to the back of the fabric according to the manufacturer's instructions. Download and print the bib template at PotteryBarnKids.com. Trace the outline onto the paper backing of the adhesive. Following the template, trace the border onto the paper backing and then cut out the center. Try to keep this piece intact and set aside. You'll need it later to create the fruit applique. Now peel the backing away from the border. Lay the border on the white fabric, adhesive side facing down, and then place the centerpiece inside to line things up. Remove the centerpiece and fuse the border to the white fabric. Don't cut yet. Next, trace the outline of your chosen fruit shape onto the paper backing side of the centerpiece. Cut out the fruit shape and peel away the paper backing. Center it inside the border and fuse it to the white fabric. Again, don't cut. There's still one more important step. Now lower your iron setting to medium and trace the bib template onto the paper backing side of the iron-on vinyl coating. Cut around the outside of the pattern, allowing about a half inch of extra room. For now, you want to hold off on cutting out the neck. Now peel the paper backing away and center the vinyl piece over the bib. Place the paper backing back over the vinyl, shiny side down, and press and hold the iron for eight seconds. Repeat all over and then remove the paper. Turn the fabric over and press the backside for four seconds all over. Now cut through all fused layers. Use pinking shears around the outer edge for a more finished look, but cut the neck hole out with regular fabric scissors. Finally, cut a one inch piece of iron-on Velcro tape, rounding the edges, and fuse to the ends of the neck tabs. Use a piece of the paper backing as a buffer between the iron and the vinyl. And there you have a great party favorite bib that's sure to come in handy when the birthday cake arrives. I hope your own little hungry caterpillar enjoys a magical first birthday.